Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello Halal family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video, we'll be reacting to Extreme Spicy Food Challenge in Jakarta This video was suggested by uh, Wayong Glasnyov uh, Thank you very much for taking the time to send me Your recommendation and suggestion Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back with the video Welcome back Halal family because Halal family is the best family out on YouTube We're gonna get started with the video momentarily guys And at the end of the video inshallah I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction So please make sure you stay until the end With that said we're gonna get started with our video Indonesia is one of the spiciest countries I've been to in Southeast Asia I know why they call it Satan spice And most of the heat is due to this sauce that seems to accompany almost every meal Is this spicy? It's really spicy of it's course It's really spicy <laughs> Today we're going on a spicy food tour of Jakarta Getting to know Indonesian cuisine through its heat They've got a giant bucket here of chili paste We'll sample 32 insane varieties of sambal All of these are ours? Yeah, there's still more Oh <laughs> Man. And sacrifice our stomachs to take on the spiciest seblok in the city. I'm trying right now. I can feel my heartbeat in my mouth. So get your yogurt and your ice cream on standby because it's about to get hot. Warung SS, a restaurant famous for its sambal. 32 kinds of sambal to be precise. Sambal is a hot sauce or paste that contains ground chilies and basically whatever else you want to throw in there. But garlic, shrimp paste, sugar, and lime often make an appearance. With such a huge selection to choose from, I'm hoping the owner can tell me where to start. Thank you for having us today. You have 32 flavors. What is like one or two of your most unique sambal flavors? Yang paling special apakah sambal belok? Eel sambal. Eel. We'll definitely try the eel sambal. Mango sambal, pineapple sambal. Mango and pineapple. That sounds perfect. I would love to try that. And sambal water. Sambal water has the inclusion of fried barb fish, which look like little minnows. So we're gonna eat this one right now. I'm gonna get a little scoop here. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, that's very fishy. It is. But it's pretty tasty. Their garlic sambal starts with bird's eye and curly chilies, MSG, salt, and a bit of elbow grease with a stone mortar and a pestle. But trust me, grinding this paste is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, do you want me to do it? It's okay? Oh my god. <laughs> this is way harder than it looks. Okay, can you help me? I'm tired already. How do you do this? Look how fast she moves. Oh, so pro. Yeah, it just disappears immediately. Next, she adds in the garlic and grinds until it's pastified. Do you ever eat a plain? Um, yeah. Okay, great. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that is some aggressive sambal, guys. Mmm, you gotta mix that with some other things, I believe. I need some rice. We need a lot of rice. Woo, the sweating has begun. It's a good thing I wore this today. The roasted garlic is coming through. Plenty of savory umami flavor. You know what I say, MSG, that is delicious. <laughs> of all the flavors to choose from, the eel sambal wins the award for most unique. We are making the eel sambal take it away. Starting with some of these curly chilies and bird's eye chili, some MSG and some salt. And then like a pro, I tried doing this earlier, huge fail. And then bam, garlic. You would think, hey, that's already a pretty good sambal. Why don't you just stop? No, we're putting in fried eel. And there it is, dark as night. We gotta make sure they're dead. Ma'am, they're already dead. This is the magic right here. So mixing it with the chilies. Where does the eel end? Where does the chilies begin? It's all just one organism now. And we're gonna try this with one of our dishes today. Can she recommend a dish that that goes well with? Maybe French toast? They don't have that here. Oh, they don't. 30 Two different types of sambal, all the sambal on their entire menu. Okay, here's a squid one. They put fermented shrimp paste in a lot yeah. of these, huh? It's Great. Like super Indonesian. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> mm. That's quite fishy. This is good, but would be even better paired with something else, I think. Ooh, the spice kicks in late. Oh, these are stink beans. Yes. My good friend told me it's not that they're stinky here, it's that they're stinky at after eating it. It makes your breath stink. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna scoop up a bean. Shrimpy, spicy. It's got some sulfuriness to it. <coughs> oh, these, it's getting bad. The spice is getting real over here. You like that one? Yeah. I like that too. It's real hot though. You're gonna eat a lot. Yeah. Oh, your breath is gonna stink. No doubt. We're gonna <laughs> grab like five of these, order some food, then go to our table <laughs> to yeah. eat. All right, let's go. <sighs> 
We have five kinds of sambal. We have chicken, tofu, fried mushrooms, plants, calamari here, crackers. I'm not the only cracker at this table. Where do we go from here? You wanna kropo? Okay. I'm gonna take some tempeh, tofu, fresh veggies. So we put on some plants. Yes. And then what? With chili, would you like to try? Let's start with their most popular one okay. here. With chilies, a lot of shrimp paste in there, a few drops of lime. But what do we do from here? Pick it up. You pick the chili goo up with your hand. Yeah. Is it ever too spicy for your hands? Just don't do it in your face. Don't okay. do it in your face. Yeah. So I've got some sambal on rice here. I'm gonna try that out. It's really good. Super salty, fishy, and just a ton of fresh chilies coming through. I love the freshness of it. Usually if I ate a meal like this alone, I just, there'd be no talking. It'd oh, just really? be eating and sweating. But you have to talk though. I'm doing my best. We do have some actual eel sauce here. What do you think can we pair with that? We didn't try tofu yet. Now I like tofu because it's just very neutral. It's a flavor vehicle. I'm just gonna brush on a little bit of this eel sambal here. Oh, there's still <laughs> nice big healthy chunks of eel in there. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Very fishy, crunchy. I think it's unique. So there's no rules about what you can pair and not pair. Anything is a go. You can pair anything. I'm gonna drink this tea. <laughs> mm. <sighs> now we can go. On our way to the spiciest soup joint in Jakarta, we happen upon a street food vendor who's dishing out a sweet and spicy snack. He's gonna make a rujak bebek. Rujak is like a fruit with palm sugar and maybe some chili in there and then just smash everything. Oh, so he's got this yeah, like stone so. bowl here. Rujak Pup Pup is a fruit snack that starts off with salt, shrimp paste, unripe banana, plum, mango, rose apple, sweet potato, and a hockey puck of palm sugar. All that gets mashed to a pulp, oh. but this is still a spicy food video. It has chilies. Yes. Because we're doing a spicy tour yeah, today. so this is perfect. For the last 14 years, this mobile street food vendor has been selling Rujak Pup Pup for a dollar a portion, combing the streets until he runs out of food. 14 years doing this, but his age is 61. What? Yes, yeah, he has four children, seven grandkids. He's paying the last child to go to the university. Wow. Yeah. And now, the final thing right here. After he mashes everything, it's just almost like a fruit salsa. Yep. Is this something you remember eating when you were young? Yes, I ate this a lot. Well, oh, I think I do it upside down. Do you know how to do with spoons? Do you know how spoons work? <laughs> no. All right, let's try it out. Okay. Mm. It's tart, it's sweet, and then it's a little spicy at the end. I like spiciness in things where you wouldn't expect it. Do you feel like you're eating your memories? Do you have nostalgia? <laughs> Me too. I feel like I'm eating your memories. I love it. Different textures, some of it's mushy, some's a little crunchy still, <laughs> and some is just completely turned to like a watery, fruity broth in there. This is great, but the real reason we actually came here is because we're going there. What is inside that restaurant? Five levels of spicy. What level do we go with today? You wanna try level five? We're in the kitchen. Now, what were you saying about this and this? This is the, the inside of the soup. This one is wet Indonesian krupuk. Okay, we got a wet cracker. Yeah, so that's the base. And yeah. then these are the different meats? Yeah. Right? This is a chicken eggs, bones. You can just bones. order bones? Yep. The bone is just for flavoring, right? Yeah, you can just kind of suck it with the bones. Let's just get meat. Our fiery soup is packed with protein, including beef knuckle, chicken breast, noodles, then back to meatballs, sausages, egg, and even lobster balls. Wait, that's, that's for you. Me. I thought that's for the whole team. Should I thought I that's for share? the camera guys too. Okay. I'm gonna get just what you're getting too. I think okay. that looks delicious. The shop name, Seblak Jaletet Murni, means surprising surge of fire. Here they've got five levels of paint, I mean spice, to choose from. And it all starts here. Which kind of chili is this? Curly chili. I have a feeling they're gonna put it in this machine and grind it into a paste. They've hooked a lawnmower engine up to a meat grinder and he started it just like a leaf blower. That's awesome. Look at this, huge handfuls of chilies here, pouring them in and then it's just coming out the bottom. Whoa. After a few minutes of grinding, the chili paste is ready. Right here, this is the heartbeat of our soup. This is what's gonna punch us right in the stomach. You ready you for are. this? You ready? Each spice level has a corresponding number of spicy scoops. We're going with the hottest option, level five, meaning five scoops. We're standing next to the owner now. She came here because it's time for the broth. It's very serious. They've got a giant bucket here of chili paste. That's all paste. I mean, that will singe your nose hairs right off, which is something I could use right now. And that's all for one bowl? It's for one bowl, Kak. 
Oh one bowl. my god. This is the level five spice. Okay, wow. she's putting in blazing red orange broth. Is this even gonna be enjoyable? It's all mixed together and it's become a spicy sludge in with some more broth. Good, a little bit of sugar to help with the spice, I think, maybe, right? This one is seasoning. More sugar. We're gonna regret this so much. She's gonna put all the meats in this bowl. I don't even know how there's room for broth in there. This is a whole bowl of meat. After the meat and broth come together, a little scallion and fried onion complete the dish. Time to eat, thank yeah. you. I see you. All right, let's go die. As if trying level five spice isn't enough, Rachel and I have decided to make a fun game of it. No water's on the table. We're doing the whole thing. Okay, deal. All right, deal. Deal. That was a dumb okay. deal. Whoever gives up first has to eat a whole raw chili. She gave us a fork and a spoon, no chopsticks. The broth actually does smell very savory, very delicious. As you look at it, it's almost gritty because of the pieces of chili in there. Like, it is literally a sludge. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> it's really yummy, though. I don't think that's too spicy. Is this a lobster ball? Yeah. Guys, I didn't even know lobsters had balls. All right, here we go. Mmm. Yummy, yeah. salty, bouncy, tender. What is this piece? Meatball. Mmm. Why am I sweating already? I don't know. I feel fun. I'm just always sweating. Are you okay? Yeah. Why? Why are you asking me that? Though my face depicts a warrior, brave and unfazed, at this very moment, my insides are being ripped apart by this level five spice. You look so red right now. So do you, <laughs> Lieutenant. Rachel isn't going down without a fight, but I will do whatever it takes to win this competition. You want to do a draw? Yeah. Draw, we both win. It was so spicy the whole time. Can you I tell know, it was I'm spicy? Dying. I'm dying right now. Why did we do that? One of those for me, right? Oh my oh. God. No, for real though. <laughs> Level five is super, super spicy. Oh, I feel like I just peed on a campfire. The flavors were very delicious. So many meats, so many fun activities in there to choose from. And actually, I'm kind of high right now. Do you feel the highness? Maybe the next time we come back, we should try level zero. Next time, oh. level zero. So all said time. The name literally <laughs> means devil's sauce. The perfect place for late night spice lovers since they opened eight years ago. Packed to the brim with locals, cats hoping to get some leftovers, and a huge variety of food. Here, they have all the main courses that people are eating. Oh, what are you scooping up there, my man? That, that is Jenko. Is it on your cheat sheet? No, it's not in I like you just there. holding a piece of paper <laughs> with the names of things on it. Jenko, also known as dog fruit, is a legume commonly found in Southeast Asia. It's said to have an intoxicating aroma that'll still be with you about 10 hours after eating. It's Jenko and then pete. Not a lot of people like it. I don't like that one. I definitely want to try it. So much here. We've got salted squid, stinky bean. What is this? Intestine in a satay. Do you like intestine? Um, I'll eat it. Just for the show. If you look down here, that's tofu. If you look that way, that's chicken. If you look up, that's a bunch of fried food. If you look here, we just got a bunch of different catfish, some panfish, more chicken. There's just everything yeah. here. This is just a bucket of fish catch of the day. So we're gonna cook this big old fish. While the fish is in the fryer, we're gonna go learn how to make sambal. I know a guy who knows a guy, he said it's cool. Instead of 32 varieties, sambal satan has one spicy sauce recipe, and they make over 80 pounds of it fresh throughout the night. For this next part, he has to get onto a stepping stool to break it apart. And there's so many chilies. My man, is this spicy? It's really spicy, of it's course. It's really spicy. <laughs> hey, great question. What did I think he's gonna say? It's not like it's a bunch of apples. Starting with hundreds of red and green bird's eye chilies, sugar, and salt. How long has he been doing this job? Four years. Do you feel like you build up some upper body strength? When you're on top, I'm good. No, he still doesn't have muscles. Oh. <laughs> After half the batch is crushed, they add MSG, crush it some more, then add fermented shrimp paste and tomato. Then a final bit of crushing until it looks like this. My stomach is a turbulent storm of hostility and rage right now. I don't know how much longer I can go on, but we're gonna make it through. We're gonna satisfy the audience. We have to give them what they didn't pay for and just take the spice to the next level. After 15 minutes of chili grinding, our demonic spicy sauce is ready. Joining the spread, some smelly <laughs> jenkle, fried fish, salted squid, and even this thing. What animal is that? Kizar. Chicken guitar. Why is it so black? Let's just eat it. Don't think, just chew. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know where to start, but I want to try some of this sambal. And this food, you said Jinkle. you're not a huge fan of this. Jenko, it's kind of this smelly thing. Yeah. In fact, I want to... Yeah. It's a little like sulfury. It's hard to explain. It's a little garlicky too. Are you ready? I guess Let's go so. for it. Wow, that is smelly. It feels like a potato. Like a rotten potato. It's like sour, 
Oh. Uh, and the spice. Do you feel the spice? Yeah. I know why they call it Satan's spice. My body is not happy with me at all right now. When I have Korean barbecue, I have little pieces of garlic. It's yeah. intense, but you start to get addicted to it. Yeah. I like it. It's your thing now? It's my thing. Do you like it? Uh -uh. Big fish, we're gonna dig in with our hands. Look at that steam. Wow. It is crispy, wow. juicy fish. That looks really awesome. A little bit of sambal. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's really good. It's good, it's yummy, it's crunchy. It is a bit fishy still. The texture is quite chickeny. Next. The salt is squid. Wanna try it? That's a squid? It's become hard, so they've fried it. You just gotta burn the heck out of it with that sambal and everything's gonna be all right. What do you think? Wow, guys, that was a lot of food, and it reminded me of a little bit of like Morocco, where people are sitting outside eating, like in Marrakesh. It's like that. I liked it uh, quite a bit when we were there uh, last year. It's really, really nice because you know, everybody's out and about, sitting outside, you know, drinking tea, coffee, eating food, and uh, Swalom Indonesians eat a lot of spicy food. I thought like Southeast Asia, so maybe like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, but I think. Probably uh, Indonesia tops all of them because the food is spicy and we saw that here um, Super super spicy the soup the sambal. So um, that would be nice to enjoy maybe try it like level zero level one But not level one. So thank you very much guys for suggesting this I hope you guys liked it as much as I did if you did Please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you like me to react to another video Please put in the comment section below as always. Thank you very much guys for all your love and support I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and we'll see you.